Greetings, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and in today's video, I am showing you my realistic, balanced meals that I have in a day. So let's get right into it. One of the very first things I do first thing in the morning is start prepping my coffee. So the night before, I actually fill up my electric water kettle and my coffee is already ground so that I really don't have to do anything other than pressing a button on the kettle and then scooping the grounds into my French press. I like to get up really early before the rest of the family gets up. I like to have a cup of coffee while I read my devotional and I try to read a chapter or two of whatever book I'm reading. It's just a really nice relaxing way to ease into the day. Because it is autumn, the mornings are getting a little bit chillier, which I so, so appreciate. I am making some pumpkin apple oatmeal. And in here, I am including some pumpkin butter that I made for a recipe that is coming up here um, towards the end of the video. I'm gonna be adding just a couple tablespoons of that pumpkin butter. I'm also slicing up some apples and I'm gonna be cooking the apples along with the oatmeal so they soften a little bit. And then I'm going to be chopping up some of the maple almonds that I got in my latest Trader Joe's haul. It just all comes in to this perfect autumn oatmeal bowl. Even though this isn't a food item, I thought this was relevant to this video. This is something I ingest every day and that is a probiotic. I started this specific probiotic four months ago, I think this is the fourth bottle, so it'll almost be a total of four months. But this has helped tremendously. As far as like periods go, my periods have gotten pretty harsh, I would say in the past year or so. And just like five to 10 days before my period is when my stomach really starts acting up and they, I just cramp really bad. And that hasn't really happened in a long, long time. So I started really researching probiotics and the reviews on this are incredible. There are a lot of very well, thought out researched reviews are on there so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this you guys if you're looking for a probiotic it is a little on the pricier side however it is definitely worth it um, in my opinion but definitely give those reviews a read through there are so there are thousands of reviews thousands of positive reviews on there I wouldn't be recommending this if this really wasn't doing anything for me I highly recommend this little probiotic right here it does wonders and just like that, it's already lunchtime. So this is what I prefer to have for lunch. I kind of switch it up. If you've ever seen, oh, what video is it? I have like a meal prep video. I think it's like a get it all done type video um, where I meal prep like chicken and roasted sweet potatoes and vegetables and whatnot. We like to have that, but every once in a while, I like to switch it up and I've been eating salmon. And the salmon I get from Costco, it's the frozen salmon flays because it defrosts so quickly, like within probably 30 minutes if you submerge the little package in like cold water or something. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare this really easy grilled salmon. If you hear little popping noises going on in the background, I actually have some pumpkin butter on the stove top because I'm making some, I think they're like pumpkin brown butter blondies or something from Half-Baked Harvest. Guys, it's all about balance, like truly, really is. So we love dessert, so I try to maintain like healthy, 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 and then in the evening it's like kind of whatever we want because I don't want to restrict myself. I want to eat things that are good and that tastes good. So what I do for my salmon is I just put a little bit of olive oil on the top, just a small drizzle, and then I use lemon pepper, just a little bit of lemon pepper. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. And then I use a little bit of this Himalayan pink sea salt. Just a little bit. And then what I do is I just kind of rub this all over and then I just flip this, the filet over. I don't even like re-season it. I flip it over so that a lot of the seasoning and the oil gets on the plate like that. And then I flip it back over so the other side gets seasoned as well. You don't really need too much of it. 
Um, but this is gonna taste so, so yummy. All right, and I'm actually gonna grill this up outside because I don't want my house to smell like salmon like so early in the morning. So let's let's head outside. Here's right that now. pumpkin butter I was telling you guys about. Oh, it smells so, so yummy. I'll link that pumpkin butter recipe down below for you guys. Um, along with the dessert we're gonna have tonight. I'm really looking forward to that dessert. I haven't made actually dessert in, I think like a couple weeks. I think the last like real dessert I've made was my pumpkin scones, which I have on my blog. So if you guys want that recipe, I'll link this, that down below as well. Now it's time to go outside before I get burned. Okay, so I set a timer for my salmon. It's about three to four minutes per side, about like 375 to 400 degrees, um, depending on the thickness too. But I'm gonna be prepping the rest of my plate here. So it's really, really simple. I just do like a bed of greens. So if I have like arugula or spinach or spring mix or anything, I will put that on the bottom. And then my salmon is gonna go right on top. And then I had some leftover roasted sweet potatoes that I made, I think it was several days ago. So I need to eat this. I'm gonna just eat through all of this because I'm starving right now. It's a lot, I <laughs> know. Well, I'll eat as much as I can. So this is what my plate is gonna look like. And then the salmon is gonna go on top. And then I just do the tiniest little drizzle of this stuff. And this is a black truffle hot sauce. I think I got this at Winco several months ago. We haven't used much of it. I think it's like three quarters of the way because you don't need that much. And I don't really want to put that much on my salmon because I'd rather just taste the salmon. So this is just like a nice little, a little supplement to the salmon. But my timer is about to go off. So I need to flip the salmon and then in four to three to four minutes, I'm going to start eating. My snacks vary from day to day just based on how I'm feeling, but this particular day I was really feeling some guac and chips. I got the guac and the siete chips from Costco, and this was just a perfect light yet filling snack. Some days I might have like a chomp stick to go with this, or I will have like a yogurt bowl with like berries and granola, but sometimes chips and guac is all you need. smoothies I generally have several times during the week it's always every time after I work out which is about four to five times a week and this is one of my favorite smoothies I never get tired of it it just has some spinach some water some protein powder banana I use about a quarter to a third of a banana and then whatever frozen berries I have right now I just have some frozen strawberries and then I add about a tablespoon or so of peanut butter and it is the best post-workout meal to have if you are new to my channel, I really truly enjoy cooking and baking. That is just one of my favorite things to do. And I love trying different recipes. And this particular recipe is a ramen recipe from Half Baked Harvest, who is one of my favorite cooking vlogs. But I did decide to put my own little twist on it. Instead of the chicken, I used some shrimp and it was so, so delicious. My family really enjoyed it. The soup itself was just so flavorful. And I loved that this was all in the instant pot. So it took literally like 20 minutes. This was seriously the best fall or winter meal to have. It was just really warm and satisfying and substantial. So highly recommend this if you enjoy making ramens or soups.
And to end the day, I always have to have something sweet to eat. And I decided to make these brown sugar maple pumpkin bars from Half Baked Harvest. They were so delectable. I absolutely love the espresso glaze on top. It really added to the brownie itself. And I love the white chocolate chips that were in them too. So yummy. All right, my friends, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate your support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.